So the biggest challenge I'm overcoming in my life right now is a relapse. You know, I, I relapsed really badly and I uh, hurt my foot. Um, actually, I was basically numb from the waist down when I woke up from this relapse. Um, and then I went to, I was taken to the hospital. I was actually in the back of my car. Um, I had taken uh, a bunch of pills, um, a bunch of oxycodone, which is my drug of choice, it's an opiate. And uh, I basically was there and I woke up the next day and I couldn't move. You know, I could climb around my car. Um, I managed to get out of my car and flag down a crazy homeless guy on his bike and uh, convinced him to take me to the hospital. Um, he asked me if I wanted to smoke some meth with him and I said, no, I just need a, a ride to the hospital and I'll give you $5, it was all I had. Um, so he luckily drove me to the hospital and uh, they took me in and I was in the hospital for over a month. My kidneys were failing, my liver was shot, um, I was retaining fluids, so I was in really bad shape. But out of that came, um, I have something called drop foot, where my foot won't raise up. It's kind of just numb and fallen. So I have a really hard time walking, and I'm working on that, you know, going to um, acupuncture um, and, and physical therapy and dealing with it the best that I can. Um, uh, and so, you know, I think I may have to have surgery, but, you know, I'm getting around better because of the physical therapy and the acupuncture right now. This relapse with Carl was definitely the scariest that I've gone through. And, you know, I've been with him through relapses before where he'd be very ill and, and just, you know, his apartment just destroyed. And this time he had serious you know, repercussions, and his kidneys had completely shut down, um, you know, he couldn't walk, he couldn't feel his foot, he couldn't, you know, it, uh, it was definitely the most scary relapse that I've had with him, and I wasn't sure if he would get better, what would be the end result of this. It's just been challenging. You know, I, I, I think that I don't talk about it a lot with people because I don't want to burden anyone. Um, but it's, I get sad, you know? I get sad that I've done this to myself, you know, and I have no one else to blame but me. And, uh, you know, I get scared that, you know, this is like, it's, this is how it's gonna be forever, you know, and I'm gonna be handicapped. Um, you know, I got a handicap placard at the DMV, and I had so many feelings about that. You know, it was just, um, it was, uh, I felt impaired. You know, and I've never felt like that before. You know, you don't think about walking, you just walk. And now that's, you know, something I have to think about all of the time. Um, so it's a little overwhelming, but it's okay. You know, I struggle, but I'm okay. What I'm doing to overcome my drug addiction is I've gone back to meetings. Um, I'm working with people, talking to people. Um, I have about four months of sobriety, and I'm just feeling much better about it. I'm surrounding myself with people in recovery. I think Carl's doing amazing with his recovery. Um, he's trying so hard to stay positive and to stay out of the results and, you know, to just take it one day at a time. And I think that's really amazing, especially for the circumstances that he's under, like with his foot. And, you know, he's going to meetings. Um, he's doing everything he's supposed to be doing. You know, he's checking with his friends. He's, he's staying positive. And I think the positive attitude is really what um, is going to help, you know, save him. And get him to where he wants to be. Honestly, today that he's really making an effort to be better and to um, be happy and to do the work that it takes to, to, to bounce back from where he went. Um, what do I see my future to be? Uh, I Hopefully I will uh, overcome my drop foot. It will get better. Um, however that happens, whether through, you know, exercise and moving or through surgery. Um, and then I just hope to get back to my life, to get a job and to move on with my life, have a normal life.